what is going on you guys Johnny here welcome back to another Call of Duty video today we have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about over the weekend we've been getting a whole bunch of news a whole bunch of details and even Dan Bunting has actually confirmed a few things and announced a few others so um, instead of actually going ahead and making multiple videos and just spamming your sub boxes I figured why not take all the news and put it together all in one timestamps are gonna be in the description down below for the topic that you want to hear about also anything that I talk about would also be linked in the description down below if you in case you guys want to go ahead and investigate it yourselves a little more so you know what let's just jump right into it and the first thing I want to talk about is actually Treyarch and Dan Bunting he actually sat down and he had an interview with I don't remember if it was Polygon or Eurogamer but pretty much he sat down he had an interview and he talked about Black Ops 3 and the fact that they are not done adding content to that game which dude just let it die already god damn that is probably the most supported Call of Duty to date I've ever seen he did not elaborate on what new content was of course, we did get DLC 5 for zombies. Maybe new content means new free maps. The same way they did it with like maybe Nightfall Fringe or Redwood Snow. It could be one or the other. Honestly, we don't know if it's going to be free or paid, but my best bet is that it's going to be free maps because it really seems like all of their attention is on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Dan Bunting also went ahead and confirmed that despite all of the rumors and all of the quote unquote leaks, Campaign was never going to be a part of Black Ops 4. Bunting went ahead and said that over the last 10 years, if they take a look at what 90% of the player base is playing, it's actually multiplayer and zombies. So if they wanted to make the best Call of Duty that they could make was to actually put all of their efforts into Call of Duty multiplayer and zombies. He also went ahead and he made a cheeky little comment. I think he knows that we regard Pyark as the king. He did say that Chiark has never you down over the years I think that's a cheeky little um, hint that he knows that they're quote unquote the kings right now at Call of Duty as far as developers go the next thing we're gonna talk about is actually the DLC and the rollout for content in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 right now it is rumored by Matt Harris okay keep this in mind Matt Harris the dude who lied about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 heavily okay he exaggerated mad hard he is um, out here talking again opening his mouth after I thought he was gonna stay low-key for a little bit but I guess that's not the case he did want to he did go ahead and confirm quote-unquote confirm okay take this with the massive grain of salt that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is going to be rolling out free multiplayer maps as well as a zombies DLC now the zombies DLC I can actually see that and that sounds pretty realistic to me because for the longest time uh, zombies dead dedicated players are just sick and tired of actually having to pay for multiplayer player DLC when they don't actually pay the multiplayer just to get the map so I can totally see them actually making two season passes that is very realistic and very believable in my opinion also as far as free DLC map goes I kind of do believe that because to be completely honest World War 2 has actually shifted my perception as to how they should roll out content that's one thing that they did get right as much as I love new maps they split the community pretty heavily because people don't always buy the DLC some people might buy only one or two DLC packs throughout the entirety of the, um, of a call of Duty's life cycle so that actually splits the player base throughout the playlist I think that actually adding free multiplayer maps that are for the entire community the same way that Sledgehammer Games has done with something like a shipment 1944 I think that is a really good idea also one more thing I want to point out is that it's a little weird that they haven't actually announced any sort of deluxe edition any steelbook edition any hardened edition anything the only things that you can pre-order as of right now in the US is actually just a standard edition there is nothing else Else to it the next thing I want to talk about is actually the size of the map for Call of Duty blackout that's the battle royale mode drifter went ahead and he made a video on it explaining exactly his methods for actually figuring out more or less a guesstimate exactly how big the map is going to be now by his estimates and his math seems pretty legit I'm pretty sure he has like a degree in engineering or something like that he is pretty college educated so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trust his judgment here the map for Call of Duty battle royale at its maximum size it is going to be about the size of Fortnite's map and if not it's going to be just a little over half the size of it and that's just a little something I wanted to throw in there and finally the last thing on my list of things to talk about is actually something pretty major I know that black ops 4 was just announced we're barely getting details about it but here's the thing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 
might actually be a thing for Call of Duty 2019. As most of the community knows, the last two Infinity War titles were not received the greatest. I liked Ghost, personally I liked it a lot, and I loved Infinite Warfare. It is honestly maybe my second favorite Call of Duty. It's between that and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but right now Infinite Warfare, I love it. It's a huge part of this channel, and it's a huge part of my fan base. You guys really, really love it a lot as well if you're on this channel, which is my best bet. However, the teams behind Ghost and Infinite Warfare are not the original Infinity Ward who made Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3, some of 3 at least. Back in 2010, Activision and Vince Van Pella, one of the studio heads for Infinity Ward actually had a falling out and they took like half the studio with them. Half of Infinity Ward actually left when they had that whole debacle with Activision, but now a whole bunch of them are back and I don't mean just people who are there to uh, maybe add shaders or work on some assets, I mean these are huge huge developers. These are major roles. For example, Mark Gibbsby, he is one of the people who left back in 2010 to join Respawn Entertainment. They're the ones who made Titanfall. He is now back and he is a lead animator. And on top of that, we have the senior game designer who left back in 2010 is now back as a senior game designer for this new Infinity Ward. And as of right now, once again, Matt Harris is reporting this. Take what he says with a grain of salt, but also Charlie Intel is reporting that they got the same intel from the same source called 2019 is actually going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Now, I don't want to speculate on this any further, but let me just say this. If they do make Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 in 2019, that is a license to print money. The community has been asking for it. However, uh, here's the thing about the storyline. It could either continue... But I do think that Ghost was a continuation of that, so it could be like a Ghost 2 slash Modern Warfare 4. Um, if they go ahead with the Ghost 2 title, I don't think it's going to sell as well. However, if they do go with the Modern Warfare title, that's a license to print money, dude. Cha-ching! Uh, however, I'm not going to be talking about that too much because it is way too early, and we still have Black Ops 4 to enjoy, and uh, I really want to see what they do with it. That is going to be for today's video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to slap a motherfucking like on it. Uh, I didn't want to make a whole bunch of videos and just spam your sub boxes but Papa needs the views so hopefully you guys can support the channel hopefully you guys can support what I do by dropping a like on it maybe if you guys are new around here and you enjoyed this video and you guys want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty be sure to smash that like button and drop a motherfucking like on it join the sub club smash that like button join the casual crew and I'll see you pretty bastards next time don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comments down below peace